Well, what is up, guys? It's Since I Game Hunter. Sorry if I sound out of breath. I've had a chest cold for like two months now. I'm starting to finally get over it, but I'm carrying all this stuff upstairs in one trip with a chest cold from the car definitely kind of kicked my ass. So this is what I already showed you. Like I said, the black Wii. These games plus Mario, I mean, not Mario, uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. Several extra controllers and some wheels, 60 bucks. That for 10. So this slot, I was posted for 60. I instantly messaged the guy saying, hey, I'll take it, I'll buy it, I'll come get it tonight. He went to bed apparently instantly as soon as I, he posted it, so he seen it the next morning. The reason I always say try and buy it even if it's late at night, because when other people message, price will go up. He had it for 60 Then he sent me a message this morning saying, hey, several people were interested, what's the best you do? I said, man, I'm not looking to get into bidding war. I was like, I'll give you your asking price and pick up today. He said, I have an offer of 70 and 75, but they can't pick up to this weekend. If you do 60 today, I'll take it. So, I'll show you what I got. Also, the posting had pictures of the PS1 and the Sega lot, and it had in the title PS2 lot, but it didn't show pictures, so I didn't know it, but there's PS2 in here too. So, first, PS1, all the cores and a controller. Not the greatest games. Tenchu 2, it's kind of cool. We got Tenchu. There's Batman Beyond, is probably the best one. Like I said, not exactly Angel Rock the Ring. Not exactly the best lot for PS1 games. Let's get some of the less interesting out of the way. PS2, so you can see Street 3 in there. It's a really fun game. NCAO, I don't know if this is a good one for PS2 or if it's 09. One of them is pretty decent for a PS2 game. Liberty City Stores is pretty decent. And more sports games. And here, got the PS2. Looks like multiple controllers. DVD remote, all the cores. It is the fat PS2. Maybe a loose disc game in here. It's the TV player setup. So it's all in there. I'm trying to save the best for last. That's why I'm skipping over certain things and addressing them right away. PS1 cords. There's a Sega Genesis. Two controllers. Also, it's NBA Jam and Toxic Crusaders. I didn't even see this in the picture. I know nothing about it. I'm not really a Sega guy. We got Art Alive. Global Gladiators, Fantasia, N95, Street Fighter 2, Heavy Nova, Home Alone, the main reason I picked up the lot, Triple Play, kidding, look at David Ortiz, main reason I picked up the lot, Streets of Rage on Genesis. Please be complete. I haven't looked yet, and it's complete. So out of the 60 bucks I spent, this will make most of the money back. It's about a $40 game. At that point in time, get rid of Streets of Rage. Probably Streets of Rage and, let's say, Heavy Nova and Street Fighter. Make about the 60 off that. Um, PS2, PS1, Genesis. I need all of them. Um, is I, when I stopped collecting, I stopped collecting anything that wasn't rare. So I kept all my rare horror collection, but consoles I weren't currently playing, like those three consoles, I got rid of. So I'm keeping all three consoles. So those games make my money back. And then all the other games I sell is going to be profit. So big thing about game collecting, if you watch anything on my channel, if not, if this is your new one, it says, you may think, Hey, you're trying to make money off video games. It's not about that. The idea is to grow my collection as cheap as possible. It's not necessarily to put money in my pocket, this is to put money in other games. So, it works out pretty well, as you can see if you check my previous videos. But that is it guys, um, pretty decent pickup. Um, I'll show you more. I have a, that modded we lot, I'm supposed to pick up tomorrow, so I'll show you guys when I get that. All right guys, uh, picking up that we lot I talked about the last clip next tomorrow after I go hunting. So, I was leaving the hospital, visiting my mom in the hospital. 
was scrolling through Facebook, saw someone selling a bunch of Xbox 360s. I almost went past it and decided, oh, I'll take a look at the games. On the last page, saw this game. Messaged him, said, how much? He said, 10 bucks. Met them about 20 minutes away to gas station. When I walked up to the car to pay them, they had Guitar Hero 2 with them. Which doesn't sound anything like this title, and it definitely wasn't this game. So he tried to hand to me, I was like, no, 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 no way. I was, <laughs> first of all, I would not pay 10 for that, but I was asking for the other game. So he goes, oh, okay, follow me to your house, I got it. And then he took a sketchy way to his house and lived in a sketchy neighborhood. And I was just hanging outside, just waiting, waiting. Came out with it, and he was like, hey, is this game valuable? And I seen he had Google on his phone. I couldn't see what he had searched. What I was assuming is he saw what the game's currently, at least supposedly, going for. I haven't looked up to see if it's going for that. Let's just say I actually gave away my copy for a very, very cheap price because I find it on a regular basis before the price went up. And as soon as I found that out, the price went up. I haven't found any since then. Now I'm finding this game like crazy. So in the past, I'd, if I wasn't playing it for a week or so, I'd sell a copy because I knew I'd find a copy. And I almost always find it for cheap. But when he said that, I was like, oh, man. What, what people do is they ask a price. They never get that price. Because I was thinking he was going to turn the $10 offer that he offered into like an $80, $90 offer. It's like, oh, well, I looked up Madden 10 last week. And if you haven't caught on with the game as yet. He said, I looked up Madden 10 last week. And he was like, oh, it's like a $300, $300 game. I was like, no. No, 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 no. I was like, that's another example of that. But anyways, picked up NCAA Football 14. So this game, standardly, has been going for about 40, 50 bucks. But for whatever reason, recently, it has spiked. If you look at video game price charting, supposedly it's $110. I've seen some people in groups talk about it. I haven't really looked it up yet to see if there's any confirmed sold postings. I don't know why it would shoot up like that. The server was actually shut down. Uh, I mean, it's an amazing game. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a 40, 50 dollar game all day if you like college football. Obviously, it's the last one. It's a great game, but $100 is crazy. But I'm going to do some research. My cousin's got a copy of it, too. I could probably, he doesn't really care about, like, what year sports games are. He just enjoys sports games. So I can probably give him NCAA Football 13 and, like, 40 bucks. And he'd probably take it for it and be happy. Um, and that's the one I gave it to. So who knows? We'll see. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I don't have an actual real case for my copy. So no matter what, I'm going to get him to at least sell me his case. But I'm going hunting. So in the morning of a work meeting, um, then I'm going to go visit my mom and then I'm hunting pretty much all day. So you're going to for sure see some footage in the next clip of me out hunting. Stay tuned. All right, guys. First pick of the day was at my former pawn shop. I still got people there to work with me. They take care of me. So for five bucks a piece, picked up these two games, Hitman Definitive Edition. Excited to try this out. I'm a fan of the Hitman games, but never played this. And then God of War. So God of War. I already have, so I'm going to be getting rid of it to make some of my money back. This is going to profit and keep a couple of hours in my pocket. So the goal today, I'm probably going to do six or seven hours hunting. I've already done about an hour. It's 11 o'clock. I've done about an hour already. It's to break even and add stuff to my collection. If not, get a couple bucks to add more things to my collection. Um, like I said, I only kept the rare stuff and I stopped collecting for a little while with work. It's kind of what I always do. Um, I, I'm, I'm bad at it. I'll say I'm just working. I'm going to cut back my collection and then I'll get back into it when I've stopped working. So I really need to stop doing that. But so there's a lot of basic and simple stuff I need right now. So there's a lot with needing a lot. I'm going to try to not spend a lot. And that's the whole goal. Um, I've already made 30 bucks back of that lot, the Wii lot and the Sega lot. Um, so that's down to one ten spin on that. I'm going to break even on that easy. Um, but I'm going to continue hunting. Stay tuned for me. All right. We're starting to catch some momentum. Very next stop. I got all these for 20. Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations. Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Teenage Zombies. Crash of the Titans. Spyro to Echo the Rhinox. Operation C. And Donkey Kong Country. So it's a solid pickup for 20 bucks. Um, none of these games I am currently collecting, so this will all either be trade bait or money for more games. So stay tuned for the next stop.
All right, guys, time for the recap. So let's go in order of how it happened. So first, picked up these two games from our former pawn, star, pawn star store. Jeez. Words. Hitman Definitive Edition, God of War. I paid $10 before tax for these. Um, comes out to about a $40 value, so nice pickup there. This Game Boy Light. Game Boy Light. My gosh, I can't speak. It was probably about seven hours I spent the car hunting today. Operation C, Donkey Kong Country, Spyro Attack of the Rhinox, Crash of the Titans, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Teenage Zombies. Paid 21 for that. It's about a $66 lot. And then the best lot of all, I paid $117 after tax for this. Comes out to $328, so really nice lot. Mega Man 2, Contra, Super Dodgeball, Super Mario Bros. 3. No clue how to say that, and Kung Fu Heroes. Vagrant Story, Xeno Gears, Mario Strikers Charged, Resident Evil Outbreak File 1 and 2, Street, uh, Elder Scrolls Mormon, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil 4, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, NCAA Football 2, I mean 10, Armored Core Last Raven, and Star Wars Obi Wan. And then the last slot, the GameCube. Sonic Mega Collection, all the cores controller, uh, James Bond, 007, Agent Under Fire, a couple other loose PS2 games not worth noting. Paid 25 for that. So in total, we're looking at about a $440 value day in a total of six, about 180. So over double the value of what we paid. Um, the horror of PlayStation titles are staying in the collection, so Street, maybe the Xbox, the, the Star Wars Xbox games, um, NCA, Dragon Ball Z, Resident Evil, Kingdom Hearts, mostly the PlayStation 2 stuff, um, Hitman, the GameCube, the rest is probably going to go up to recoup money or trades for other stuff I want in my collection, so pretty productive day. Um, this will probably be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Be tuned for more videos soon. I'm going to start recording the next video to pick up in like an hour. So definitely going to be a lot of content coming at you guys. Thank you.